Hi, this is Shannon from the Utah Education Network here to show you how to use one of the tools that's available to you in Utah's online library for music clips and it is called Sounds Abounds. So to get there we are going to go to UEN.org then we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click on Utah's online library as the top link in the resources section. If you're at school, it will automatically log you in. If you're at home, you'll need to log in with your MyUEN login, or for your students, they would log in using the current username and password for student logins. Here in the reference collection section, we have sounds abound right here. Let me click on sounds abound. Even if you've used it in the past, there is a new interface. One of the very first things to take a look at is there are volumes of music and it gives you a short description of what you'll find in the different volumes of music. You also can search by name if you know a specific name, but what will be more likely for your students and for yourself will be to either search by volume or by category. It gives you kind of era that you can search by or also kind of a general classification. If we were to look at Brazilian and just click search, it would give us a list of all the music and sounds abounds that would be considered Brazilian. When we have these clips here, we can preview by clicking the play button. Okay, now if we like the sound of it, we can look and see how long it is. It's only 15 seconds. Now all of these where they have the same name and also the same author, they're all the same music clip. There's just different lengths to it. So depending on what you're doing with it, you can download a length that's most appropriate for what you need. When you have what you'd like, you can click download. And then you have an MP3 downloaded that can be used in any audio or movie editing software where they use an MP3. This is a great tool to use with your students. Um, if they're creating any digital media that you'd like to share outside of the classroom or if you are creating any content that you'd like to share with your students.